Holly Signorelli here, your money therapist. And I'm really excited because my new free app is coming out this week. You can download it at the App Store and it's going to help you with emotional and fear-based conflict when it comes to money. And I'll also be throwing in some things like IRS tips, money tips, all of that good kind of stuff. But what we're talking about today is entrepreneurs and how do you run your company? What kind of employees do you have? What's going on in your office? So there's a few things that I want to recommend and they're pretty simple. One, when people walk into your office, whether it's employees or your customers, is it, do you have a good vibe in the office? And that may sound simple, but some of the way that you place things, when they talk about feng shui, you know, a lot of times people don't really think about how when you walk into a room, you want it to be open and bright and nice pictures. And then by spending a little bit, you know, reasonable amount of money on your office looking nice and having flowers really boosts up morale for your clients and your employees. And when you do have employees working in the office, you want to make sure that their equipment is working really really well and that is something that a lot of small businesses kind of get a little bit tight on. It's, it's hard. We have to replace our computers and our printers and everything. There's always something that's broken and needs to be replaced. They don't make things the way they used to. But I would tell you to really, really make those things a priority because if things in your office aren't working, it's going to slow everybody down and also bring the morale down. And really that's going to cost you more money in the long run. So think about that when you're putting off that purchase. I've had to do a lot of that myself. Last year we moved and there was a lot of things that had to be replaced. So it was like, wow, how much more do we need to do? But the bottom line is you need to do it. It's your business and you need to prioritize it. The other thing to think about, and I always like, I think about Starbucks when I think about this, is you want to give employees perks. And a lot of times small businesses don't have the same kind of money to give the, the bigger benefit plans, but there are smaller, easier benefit plans that you can do. And there's also other perks that you can have. Like a lot of small companies, they let people off early on Fridays and those kind of things go a long way. Or doing a company happy hour or maybe on Monday when it's the beginning of the week, order lunch in for everyone. There's just so many little things that you can do like that to bring up the vibe in the office and the morale. And that kind of leads to the next thing, which is a little bit the opposite. I know that large companies that people really want to work for, like Starbucks or Cabela's or any of those big companies, they have a zero tolerance rule. If you don't do your job, if you don't show up on time, if you don't fit into the company profile of what they want their employees to be, you're out of there. And I don't believe that those places really create a fear-based environment where people are afraid. I think what they've, they've mastered is an environment in which people want to work there, that they actually look forward to going there, but they know that they have to do the job and they have to do it right and timely. They have to represent the company. So that's what you want for your small business too, is people to want to be there and to want to represent and just be a part of that overall team. And the last thing is, to me the most important thing is, you need to make sure that your values and ethics and what your vision is that everybody knows what that vision is and that they share in that vision. Nobody's really going to care about your vision at the end of the day like you, but you need people that carry that vibe. And the first job that I had right out of college, the person that I worked for, the CPA at the time, made it very clear about honesty and integrity because there's so many people that will try to pay you to do something that you're not supposed to do. And he made sure that I understood that we would never do that under any circumstance because that short-term financial gain wasn't worth the long-term 
terrible things that could happen. And that stuck with me at a young age, and I've carried that through my career, I'm happy to say. So I think that's very important that they know where you're coming from and what you're wanting to accomplish and what your long-term and short-term vision is so that the, they share in that as much as possible and want to be there. And then your business will be more productive, more effective, efficient, smoother, clients will be happier, and that equates to more money. We'll talk to you next week. Bye.